working in the corporate world will suck the life out of you if you let it. I've always had a side hustle of some sort, and the idea of working for myself was always what I wanted. I mean, I wanted to be a freaking famous artist, for God's sake. Near the end of my college journey, I got a little anxious, and so I taught myself graphic design, and I hopped into a corporate job pretty much right after I graduated. And once I got into the corporate world, my dream of working for myself got buried under my desire to prove that I could make it and climb the ladder and be successful without a degree in design or marketing. I mean, the reality was I was really insecure and afraid to go out on my own. Side note, I actually did try that a few times to step out on my own, but I let my lack of confidence and self-discipline get in my way. I was afraid to ask clients to pay me reasonably for the projects I was working on, and I really lacked the discipline to create a schedule and stick to it. So inevitably, I would fall back into the nine to five. So I spent over a decade in the corporate world in Chicago, and then I moved back to Michigan and continued freelancing, but got a job kind of outside of my career, and I went back to custom framing, which I had done in high school. In my head, I was going for the broke but happy life. Because trying to level up and make more money in the corporate world can be really difficult, and I needed a break. A few years ago, I decided it was time for me to get back to my career. There was some stuff happening in my personal life that made it clear that the broke but happy life was not the happy life and I realized I needed to make a change. So I landed a decent job at a local marketing agency, but started and found that they really undervalued their employees. I've spent a lot of my career fighting for fair wages and equal pay, and it became clear to me very quickly that that was not gonna be a long-term fit for me. Around that time, I made a kind of pact with myself that within two years I was gonna double my income from working. So I found another job working for a really amazing company in Ann Arbor, and unfortunately, <laughs> They ended up closing in six months. They shut down shortly before the holidays, so I knew I wasn't really going to be getting a job anytime soon. But I also made an important decision, which was that I was no longer looking to climb the ladder. I was looking for a job that would pay me well, and I would just be comfortable at. And whatever it was had to have a good working environment. My mental health required it. I was fortunate that after 2022 started, I fairly quickly had something fall into my lap. And I actually really loved that job. It paid well, the culture was good, I actually enjoyed my coworkers, but it was a contract job and I had zero paid time off. So this was a major turning point for me. After working in my industry for 18 years, I could never manage to secure a decent amount of paid time off. That's when I started thinking differently. I needed to figure a way out of the corporate world completely. I wasn't gonna leave my job, but I needed to start something that would build a long-term income stream. I already had a side business selling vintage stuff and I loved it, but it was really time consuming and it was hard to scale. I loved going thrifting and picking, but doing the listings was tedious and exhausting. I would get hung up or worn out and I would leave the business basically untouched for months where it would generate occasional sales, but nothing major. Then I decided to play around with print on demand. I was creating my own artwork for people to download digitally and print themselves. And I also partnered with a print on demand company so that they could order the actual prints if they wanted to. That was also super fun, but again, it didn't really fit the bill for scalability and profitability quickly. I actually still get sales regularly from my illustrations, but that's not something I'm gonna pursue again until I have a really steady passive stream of income that I know I can rely on. Then one day I was on Facebook and this woman popped up and she was talking about what I would figure out later was affiliate marketing. And I had worked in affiliate marketing for four years in Chicago for a large scale affiliate of a major brand. So I knew the level of profitability and the array of options that affiliate marketing had and digital marketing in general. But I had worked in a time where you had, 100% had to have a list to make money with affiliate marketing. I had actually been telling myself for years that I should start a similar business to what I had worked for, and I didn't because I was so hung up on the list thing and the following. Hearing this woman speak about not needing either of those really lit a fire under my ass. So I made a minor investment and I got started. There have been a lot of bumps in the road, but when I got laid off in April, I decided I was going to make this my full-time job. I am going to make this company profitable, and I am going to change our lifestyle for the better. I just can't play the corporate game anymore. There's no reward for loyalty or hard work anymore, and we're just one fish in a sea of a million fishes that can plop down in our chair 
and do the work. Maybe not as well as us, but sometimes that doesn't matter to companies. And so far I've done it. I've scaled to five figures and I'm helping people along the way, which is truly my dream. So hit me up if you want to chat about where you are and where you want to be. Just drop a comment below or head to my profile, click my link and jump into my FB group. We can chat there.